So this is um, a mock dorm room um, at the Naval Academy. It, they all literally look exactly like this. Um, it's not like other colleges where there are different dorms and they all kind of look different or whatever, but literally everybody has a room that looks like this one here. Um, normally there's three to a room. Um, you have like a desk in the rack above, above the desk. This is literally the only thing that you have private for four years is this, we call it the con locker, the confidential locker. Um, it's the only lock that you have um, in, in, in the place. So, um, you know, everything's pretty much, you know, the honor concept and honor code at the Naval Academy, honor concept. You know, midshipmen do not lie, cheat, or steal, and it's not a big deal. Normally the, the, the doors and, and stuff are not see-through in, in the rooms. They're normally, all of them are this kind of wood color, but when you open up the doors, I mean, all this stuff is, is arranged how it's supposed to be arranged, kind of with the, the shirts flush against the wall here, the socks with the smiley face up, not, you don't want frowny socks and smiley face. Show you're happy. Shoes kind of hanging there, and then you have the rifle. Everyone has a M1 rifle um, that's used for marching, and, and that's uh, that's locked up as well. Um, you don't want to leave your rifle unlocked. That, that leads to a bad day at the Naval Academy for you. So there's basically two types of room inspections. There's the Alpha inspection, and there's the Bravo inspection. The Alpha inspection, that's the big one. That's a 50-point uh, list of, of, different, of different things that have to be done, and that's basically done two to three times a year at the beginning of the semester um, just to make sure that everybody deep cleans their rooms. Um, and so that's going to be where everything's open, all the doors are at a 45 degree angle, um, your chair is actually even supposed to be in the right place, these drawers, the top one's out six inches, the bottom one's supposed to be out 12 inches. Um, you actually have to have a ruler out for the inspector to be able to measure that kind of stuff. The Bravo inspection is kind of the day-to-day -day inspection that could really happen randomly. And that's kind of just a neat and orderly kind of inspection. No one's really going to open up your lockers and see what's inside there. But do you just have like your chair kind of sitting nice, your desk neat, is your rack made, are your towels hung up properly, um, you know, that, that kind of thing. And that's just a little 10-point inspection, is the floor swept. Um, so basically, if you were to fail a bunch of Bravo inspections over the course of a month or so, then they might assign you an Alpha inspection.